Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Inked Up Runner. This is Jason and this week's stories include the Speed Goat 50K, the Badwater 135, there's a new PCT supported FKT, and there's a new Vermont Long Trail supported FKT. Let's get started with the Speed Goat 50K, which is put on by the Speed Goat himself, Carl Meltzer. Um, we saw the overall winner there being Adam Peterman, who was the winner and set a new course record, knocking off Jim Walmsley's old course record. The top female there was Ashley Brasavin, um, who was the overall winner there for the females. Over to the 25K, the top male was Justin Grunewald, as well as the top female was Sophia Gorman there. So congratulations to all those folks out at the Speed Goat. Moving on to the Badwater 135, which is considered to be one of the hardest, if not hardest, ultra marathons in the United States because it's set in Death Valley, California. The conditions are extremely difficult there very hot and just extremely tough, tough running. Um, we saw Harvey Lewis pass Igor Gosiliak at a mile, around mile 103, and he never looked back and ended up taking the overall win to win the Badwater 135. This is Lewis's second Badwater win as he uh, was the winner in 2014. Lewis also owns the uh, bad water to uh, Whitney FKT there as well. So he is absolutely no stranger to being out there in those conditions. On the female side, we saw Sally McRae take the overall win there. So congratulations to Sally. Another big story coming out of bad water was Norma Roberts. She was the second overall female there. And she also set a new 60 plus age record um, as well running out there. So congratulations uh, to Norma. Other big news coming out of Badwater was we had a couple of local guys run out there as well. Um, Josh Holmes and David Jones also finished uh, out there at the Badwater 135. This is Josh Holmes' uh, seventh finish out of Badwater, so congratulations to Josh. Uh, this is David's 11th finish at Badwater, so congratulations to David. Also, if you remember, David was the overall winner in 1997, and he also owns uh, an age group record out there as well. So congratulations to Josh and David for that huge accomplishment. Moving on to the Pacific Coast Trails supported FKT. Timothy Olson set a new supported FKT uh, on the PCT in 51 days, 16 hours, and 55 minutes. Um, this is a humongous accomplishment. It's extremely tough. Uh, tough running out there. Um, I know I've watched multiple through hiking videos of people running through that trail and it is not easy. Uh, Timothy did it. Uh, we we're just waiting on confirmation that he officially has the record, but it looks pretty solid that he's got it. So congratulations to Timothy. Moving on to the Vermont Long Trail, Ben Feinson set a new supported FKT on the Vermont Long Trail. Uh, the Vermont Long Trail is the oldest long distance hiking trail in the United States. So this is a, a big accomplishment for Ben. So congratulations to Ben for taking that FKT out there. So with that being said, um, that is it for this week's news. I have multiple interviews lined up this week. Looking forward to getting those out to you. Um, lots of exciting stuff coming. So looking forward to that. Um, if you uh, if you haven't uh, forgotten already, the uh, Flying Monkey Marathon uh, lottery sign up as well as a half marathon sign up is uh, August 1st. So don't forget that. Also, if you have not uh, given my channel a subscribe and like, please uh, do so. It helps out uh, tremendously. That is it uh, for this week. I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you on the trail. Mm -hmm.